Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the implementation of stack data structure in Python. Python got built-in data structures which are lists, dictionary, tuples, and sets. To know the basics and more about these types, I recommend you to watch my previous video posted in YouTube with the title Python for Beginners Learn Python in 30 Minutes in which I have covered the basics of Python. Now let's get into the user defined data structures in Python in which we got stack, queue, linked list, tree, graph and hash map. So in this tutorial we are going to focus on stack data structure from these types. The basic process of stack data structure is the insertion and deletion will happen on same end. Let me demonstrate it. The insertion of data will be done by using push command. So here we are inserting data A, B, C and D using push command and to delete we will be using pop. So pop is the command used for deletion in stack which brings the peak data out from the stack. By logic we call it as last in first out LIFO which brings out the data D out of the stack. Now let me start with a basic example to show the data structure functionality of python list. So this example will show you how the list shall be replaced as the stack data structures in python. So here I have declared a variable called my underscore stack and assigned with an empty list means this variable is a list type where we can add values into this list by using append function. So here I just choose append and I'm going to insert a data, a value in here which is 6. So the value 6 will be added into the list named my stack. So I'm going to add one more value. So I go with my stack and this time I'm going to use the append function again to insert a value. So I go with append within brackets I'm going to enter value. So this time I just type 7. So this value will be also added into the list. Now to add one more item, I'm going to copy this statement and I'm going to paste it down to insert another value. So I'm going to replace this 7 to 8. So these are the three values I'm going to insert into the stack using append function which is the replacement of push command in stack. Now to have a view on the items in the stack, I'm going to print the stack means I'm going to print the variable my stack. I'm going to enter in here. I just type my underscore stack and this one I'm going to execute it to view the list of items in the variable. So I'm going to execute it. You can see the items in the list 6, 7 and 8. So now we have inserted the items into the stack by using append function and also we have displayed the list of items in the stack. Now let us get into the pop function for deleting an item from the stack. So for that I just type print and within print function I'm going to pass the variable my stack and I'm going to press dot and I'm going to call pop function. So this pop function shall be also applied with the lists in python. So which will delete the latest item from the list. So this function will return a value to the print statement which will be 8. I'm going to execute it and I'm going to check out the output. Yes, it's 8. So this mystack.pop removes the value 8 from the list and passes into the print function and it displays in the output. So now I have inserted another print function with pop function. So I'm going to remove another element from the list. So before that, I'm going to do some changes in the list. I'm going to add one more item. So this time I just type mystack dot append I'm going to add one more item into the list into the stack so within brackets I just type 20 so 20 will be my new element will be the latest element added into the stack so now I have used append function for value 6 7 8 and 20 and I have used the print statement to print the stack and I have used the pop function twice and now I'm going to use one more print function to print the stack all together so then I will be having a list of items after pop function so I'm executing it you can see exactly it works so 6 7 8 20 is the list of items I have used append function to insert into the stack and I have executed it and then I have passed in a pop function 
which has removed the value 20 first out also the second pop function removes the value 8 from the stack and this print function displays the items remains in the stack so this is how we use lists in stack operation now let me show you the next example by using classes methods and objects for implementing stack operation in python so here i am declaring a class with the name stack so stack is the class name and i'm going to start up with a constructor for declaring a stack variable so here i go with init so then this will be an constructor method in which i need to declare the variable for stack so this stack variable must be list type so the variable name i have named it as stack itself and assigned with the list type with an empty list as we did in the previous example so this will be the stack variable to be used for stack operation so now i go with the next function so i declare push function where i need to create one argument which must be receiving the item to be inserted into the stack so i just name the variable name as item itself and now i move into the function process of push so for that i need to use append function on stack variable so i just type self dot i just call the stack variable stack and again i just press dot to insert the append function so i just call the append function and within brackets i need to insert the item the variable name so which will be receiving an value from the argument so that must be inserted into the stack so that's the process of push function so now i go with pop so pop function is to delete the value from the stack so for that first we need to check whether the stack got some value or not so for that i just go with an if function i mean if statement i just type if and i check the length of the stack so within brackets i just type self dot stack so then it will receive the length of the stack and if the length is greater than zero means that if the stack got some value then we shall apply the pop function else we don't need to do that so i just type the function for the pop now i just go with return so if the value of the length is greater than 10 it will return self dot stack dot pop function so i just call pop now so then the pop function will be applied on the stack and the first element will be removed from the stack so else if the value is not true means the length of stack is not greater than zero then we just return none we are not going to return anything so just type return none so this is all about the pop function first we check the value and if the stack has some value we just go with pop else we just return none so now we go with the next function so i'm going to declare the peak function so this is the next type of function where when this peak function is called the latest item the topmost item will be returned so for that again we need to check the length of the stack if we got some value in the stack then the latest value will be returned so i just type self dot stack again i just go with the variable and i'm going to check whether this is greater than zero or not if a, this value is greater than zero means the length of the stack is greater than zero then we need to return the latest item the topmost item so for that i just type return self dot stack so the variable stack variable and to get the value so we need to pass the position the highest position within square brackets so i just go with the square bracket and within there since we don't know the value i just go with length function and check the length of the stack and then here i'm going to pass minus one so which will return the highest position of the stack highest position of the list so this will return the item for display so now i go with else function so if the stack doesn't have minimum value if greater than zero is false then it will return none so this is about peak function so now let me move on to the next function i just type define i just type string function so this function is basically for to display the items in the stack 
so whenever the items of the stack has to be displayed so we just pass the function string function from the test code so then this will return the list of items in the stack so for that I just type written string within function I just type self dot stack so then all the items in the stack will be listed so that's all about the functions of stack operations in class now let's move to the test code where we are going to check it out whether the stack operations works properly or not so for that I just create an object so I just type my stack so this is an object created by me for the class stack so the class name is stack so I have created an object my stack for the class stack so now I shall use this object to access the methods inside the stack class so now let me start with the first one I just type the object name so I just type enter I just type my underscore stack which is the object name I just type dot so that I can find out the list of functions inside the stack class so now I go with the push function within brackets I'm going to pass an argument I'm going to pass 3 the integer argument into the push function so then this will be added into the stack means added into the list so now I just going to copy this and I'm going to enter and I'm going to paste it because I'm going to insert multiple items so this time instead of 3 I just remove this 3 I pass 5 so now I just again enter I'm going to paste it again and this time I'm going to remove this 3 and replace it as 8 so these are the three values I'm going to pass in into the push function to insert into the stack and then I'm going to call print function within print within brackets I'm going to mention the object name my underscore stack so which will be passed as an string argument in default will be received by the string function and this displays the stack the whole stack the items in the stack will be displayed so now I'm going to execute this so then I can see the insertion process and also the string function so I'm going to call two function so uh, let me execute it and check it out so I have an executed so you can see the list of items have been listed 3 5 and 8 so it means that push function has been applied successfully and all these three items have been inserted into the stack now I go with the next one print within brackets I'm going to call the object name and I'm going to use the pop function now so I just type dot pop so then this pop function will get into the pop function in the class and retrieve the value the latest value which is 8 and that value will be returned to this print statement and we will get the output as 8 so the latest item 8 will be removed from the stack and that will be displayed now I go with the next print statement and within brackets I just again call the object name my stack and this time I just leave it as it is without any specific function so then this will return the list of items in the stack so after pop function after removing the value so we I need to check it out what is the list of items in the stack yes you can see the pop function has been applied successfully the value 8 has been removed from the stack and the list of items now in the stack is only 3 and 5 so now I go with the next pop function so this pop function will remove the next topmost item the next topmost item is 5 so the 5 will be removed from the stack and the left item will be only 3 so now I go with the next function so I just enter and I'm going to type print this time I'm going to call the peak function so I just type the object name my stack and I'm going to call peak function so I just type dot I select peak so peak is the function which will return the topmost item value without removing it from the stack so if we now go with this peak function the answer will be 3 because the only leftover value in the stack is 3 so this will return the value 3 as the peak value so now I go with another pop function so this will remove the 3 as well so again if I go with another one so this will return as none as the stack is empty now so we have removed all the elements from the stack and no more elements so this is false according to the condition we have applied in pop function the length of the stack is not greater than 0 then it returns 
none so that will be the output so now let me do execute it so I'm going to execute this so you can check it out as I said the first element popped out is 5 then the peak element has been written as 3 then again last before pop function removes 3 then finally it removes all the elements and results as none so this is how we apply all the stack operations as we constructed in the stack class in above so you can check it out according to the pop functions the order of execution has been listed out here so this is the one last pop function to display 3 and this is the one which displays the none as the stack is now empty so this is being constructed by the stack functions which we applied in the stack class